Basically, they're racing and meeting each other at the back. Boop. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm going to be checking out the Yin USB wired gaming mouse. I did receive this sample from Yin directly, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this gaming mouse or you want to find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks really nice. They advertise 7,200 DPI. We also have seven buttons. You can open up the front cover of the packaging to reveal the mouse and some of those additional buttons and controls right there. Yes, you probably haven't missed it either. This does have RGB and it features a 5.5 foot USB brake cable. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Looking for a secure and reliable way to access the internet? Look no further than ExpressVPN. Protect your personal information and browsing history from prying eyes. Act now and sign up for ExpressVPN today using our link in the description and receive an extra three months of service for free. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our product literature featuring our warranty information. This comes with a one year, 12 month warranty can see both sides of that in multiple languages. Next, you'll see we have a complete user guide and manual highlighting the key features here. And we have our tech specs and setup instructions in multiple languages with helpful charts and diagrams going over all the controls buttons and the software if you want to configure macros and things like that. And then lastly, we have the mouse itself right here with our USB type A braided cable here. And then the mouse has that cool honeycomb design, making it very lightweight. RGB all around the perimeter of the base. We have some nice grip feet that slide. You'll see our sensor down here, multiple buttons, an illuminated RGB scroll wheel, forward and back buttons on the side, Egan's logo and branding. So a nice lightweight mouse from first impression. Now let's go ahead, let's plug it in and try it out. All right, the mouse is plugged in, powered on. Look at the RGB. We got a purple scroll wheel and purple for the Yigen logo right there. And then beautiful RGB all around the base. This is gonna be the rainbow effect. So you'll see that there. Really bright and vivid, looks great. Now let's check out the software for it. So we have to download this software directly off Yian's website. They have a download section for this product. That's where you'll be able to find this, unless yours is plug and play. Our mouse is plug and play. It worked right away within our Windows PC, but there was no prompt to install this software automatically. But we got it set up. Once you have it installed, this is the screen you're gonna be at. You don't have to sign in or create an account or anything like that. You have all of your six button control options right here. They have the exact same settings, so you can configure them however you want and select each button from this list and then DPI expands out multimedia expands out and DPI lock you can see the settings there for it moving right along we have three different profiles for this mouse you can add delete import or export rename right there nice layout to right of all the different control options we have on the right hand side we have our DPI settings here we can turn those on or off and we have different colors for them, anywhere between 500 all the way up to 7,200 for your sensitivity. I wanna point out too, on the mouse itself, you can toggle between the different DPI values with that middle button number three. And you get a color-coded option on the mouse. It's gonna match the colors on the screen right there. So you can pick and choose which color represents which DPI value. So that'll change the scroll wheel and the logo. Moving right along, we then have our lighting option here. We can pick and choose from a variety of different effects, but keep in mind, this does not change the DPI indicator lights on the scroll wheel and the logo. I wish it did, but they don't. So you're just basically configuring the RGB down below, and then you can pick a color to match if you want for the top lights. But we have a lot of different options there. We'll come back to those in a second. We can adjust the speed, the duration. Then we have our mouse parameter. You can adjust the sensitivity, scrolling speed, double click speed. We have our polling rate. So what do you want to use for your USB polling rate? And then our debounce time here, you can adjust that. Keep in mind, follow the warning here. But those are the options you have. So a fair amount of customization for this particular mouse. 
Let's dive into the different lighting effects. I'll showcase all of those for you. All right, so the first lighting effect here is the rainbow, followed by steady, where we can pick and choose our color here. So you'll see in our case, we have the steady. It's a red, it might look a little orange for you guys, but this is a nice red glow to it. But you'll see again, it's not changing our DPI indicator lights at the top. I wish that it did. But from here, we can pick and choose, right? What color we want. So just double click. Maybe you want green this time, you could hit OK. Now it's green. We can adjust that brightness. I think this is a really bright gaming mouse. 25% is the lowest we can go. I like it at 100. I like it nice and bright. Then you'll see we have our breathing where it's going to pulse. So you'll see that it'll change the colors. We can double click to pick a color and we can make this faster up to three if we want or slower down to one. I think two is a good middle ground there. We have our colorful tail as they call it. So that's pretty neat. Basically, they're racing and meeting each other at the back. Boop. Here's neon. Same thing, we can adjust the speed settings. Great colors here. Colorful steady. I like that. Giving us a nice showcase of everything. Basically our steady rainbow. Flicker. Pick and choose your colors. Again, nothing's changing at the top for those lights. We have our stars twinkle. Anything with all the RGB, that's my favorite. We have our wave. Nice colorful wave here. And then LED off. All right. But that doesn't turn off the top ones again. You see that it's not controlling those. So let's go back to our rainbow. Love that one. But really nice and bright RGBs. So let me share with you my final thoughts in regards to this Yi Yin gaming mouse. There's a lot I want to say. So my experience is coming from using more expensive products from Cooler Master or Glorious. But this gaming mouse is at the entry level price point, but it's offering you a lot of great features. That's a very cramped and competitive marketplace. But this is well within range for the specs you can expect buying a mouse like this. The honeycomb design's great, the RGB's really bright, the software actually works and it's intuitive and easy to use. Also gotta say in regards to the optical sensor, 7200 DPI is great. That's towards the higher end of what's offered. I only saw a couple that maybe offered 8,000. Typically you're seeing either 7200 or that 3000 DPI range. So they're not skimping in the quality for the price that you're paying. For me though, there are a couple quirks. The first one is the RGB. I don't really understand that. I'm sure a lot of you out there might like to see that feedback in real time to know which DPI setting you're in since it's color coded. I just wish that they gave us full RGB control. Maybe I'm missing that somewhere. And they just had a, a little indicator light somewhere else, maybe in one of the honeycomb cutouts that we could visually see or from the bottom, right? Just a little LED here. It's white, blue, off, whatever, to go through the different settings that you could configure, right? So that's what I'd like to see there. But other than that, I would say there's not a lot of glide with the included feet. So maybe some additional feet in the future. So if you want to get that faster glide or if you want to slow it down even more, you would have that option. But it's comfortable, easy to use, very lightweight, and super responsive.